Here at Transnational Payments, we get that credit card processing can be confusing. We're here to help. But why is it so complex? The simple fact that Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and Amex are not the ones that set businesses up to process payments is a big reason why. If you can't communicate directly with the card networks, how simple can it really be? Back when payment processing was first established, it was decided that in order for businesses to accept credit and debit cards, they would have to partner with a payment processor in order to be able to do so. The same fact remains true today. Let's talk about who is involved in the actual processing of payments. The cardholder. This is anyone who's obtained a credit or debit card from a credit card issuer. As a merchant, this would also be your customer. The merchant. A business owner who accepts credit and debit card payments for goods and or services they sell. The payment processor. An institution that oversees credit card transactions and payment processing. Remember, Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and Amex require that a merchant use a payment processor in order to accept credit and debit cards. The credit card issuer. This is the bank that issues the credit card to the cardholder. These organizations primarily establish the fee structure for merchants. This is also known as interchange. The credit card network. Cards like Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and Amex. Merchants can accept payments in a variety of ways. Let's look at the three most common ways to accept payments. In-store, online, mobile. Here are three real-life scenarios to help you better understand. Joe owns an auto repair shop and accepts credit cards at his shop only. Sally is the CFO for a medical practice that accepts credit cards in-store and online through their website. Sam owns a home repair company and accepts payments primarily on the go at his customers' home locations. While they all accept credit card payments through different methods, the process after they accept the payment is the same. A cardholder pays with a credit or debit card. The merchant, Joe, Sally, or Sam, processes the card through a point of sale device or terminal, online gateway, or via a mobile app. This transaction goes through the network to the card issuing bank for approval. The payment processor, Transnational Payments, enables data between the merchant, and the credit card issuer, all while monitoring for fraudulent activity on behalf of the merchant. So, how do our merchants get paid? Once the credit card issuer sends an approval, the payment processor receives the appropriate funds from the card issuer and the merchant gets paid, usually within 24 to 48 hours. As a merchant, you need to decide how you will accept payments, whether it will be in-store, online, and or with mobile payments. You also need to decide who you will use for payment processing. There are thousands of payment processors out there, but not all are created equal. Watch our short video on the five things to look for when selecting a payment processor.